What's up guys, I'm Chris and today you're watching a video on the introduction to the Peak Wallet section in the Wallet Wars section. Welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Please consider subscribing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment on any questions that you have about the product I'm reviewing or anything you'd like to see in the future. Let me know your thoughts. Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so you don't miss a video or a review. Don't forget to head over to Facebook and join the Chris Edwards Magic Secret Access Group. In there, I will be posting direct links to unlisted videos that can't be found visibly on the channel or through a YouTube search or any search engine for that matter. What's going to happen with the unlisted videos is for example with certain wallets that don't give you a lot of information in the ad copy or in the trailer or even in the description. I'm going to show you guys where the peaks are, how they work, things like that. So it's borderline exposure in the sense that I don't want to present these publicly to lay people but I think that if you are here, then you're likely a magician or a mentalist. There are some questions to answer to get into the group. So basically, if we know each other or uh, we have mutual friends, certain groups in common, then it's going to be no problem. You're going to get in. But check that out because there will be a lot of unlisted videos that I think will be worth seeing. All right, so this video is probably just going to be one take. It's completely off the cuff because I really have no idea how to structure this. I don't even have all of my peak wallets here. I narrowed it down so that this video wouldn't be extremely long. Basically what I'm gonna do is just kind of introduce certain peak wallets that will make their way into the Wallet Wars section where I will do comparisons against wallets that maybe have similar capabilities or peaks. But anyway, <clears throat> let's just get into it and see where it goes. So first off, I just wanna say uh, I have my favorite wallets, but just because they're my favorite wallets doesn't mean that they are the best peak wallets. I think that a peak wallet is the best peak wallet for you is the wallet that you are most comfortable and confident using because at the end of the day, there shouldn't be any heat on the wallet, right? Nobody should think that you're peaking anything. So if, if you know, my least favorite peak wallet is what is most comfortable for you then that is your best peak wallet that's how i see it so anyway let's just get started these three these are kind of like himber wallets i don't even remember where i got them all uh, this one's a jol wallet one of these came with the how to read minds kit and i don't know where the other one came from now with these if you get these with the starter kit they will do the job uh, if you're comfortable using them then all the power to you. I personally would upgrade to uh, a better wallet. Uh, these basically work. Uh, well, I don't want to completely give it away, but yeah, I guess I'm going to. You have them insert their information. You set that down. And then when you open it up again, you get the peak as if you're taking out maybe a business card to do a drawing duplication. So let's get these out of the way. Uh, next, we have the FPS wallet by Brent Braun. Now, the reason I uh, included this one, it is a card to wallet, but it does also serve as a very good peak wallet if you want to do a peak with it. So where you would load the card, or I guess that would be here, where you would load the card, if you stored business cards inside, when you went to grab that, you'd get a full peak. So that's why I've included that one here. The Nexus wallet, uh, I know this wallet had a lot of hype and it is a great wallet uh, as far as function goes and the peak on it is amazing. I really, really like the peak. I just wish I could use it because the, uh, the Nexus wallet, uh, it isn't made with the best material and the best craftsmanship and unfortunately mine has kind of fallen apart before I even had the opportunity opportunity to use it but we will do some comparisons in future videos the Viper wallet really good peak uh, it, it is a nice wallet it can be used as an everyday carry it has an SUC feature and then it also has a really unique external peak that can go completely unnoticed and is almost angle proof 
So this is a good wallet if you're just looking for a peak wallet. Uh, we also have the the Hermes wallet. This is a good overall wallet. It uh, has a fair bit of storage. You got your money clip. You have a place for business cards, which also features an out to lunch principle. You have your wallet transformer for an additional card to wallet. And then the peak on it, it's good, but I didn't care for it as it was. So a friend of mine who I've mentioned in my full review for the Hermes wallet, which you can refer to, he actually came up with a modification, which I've used on a number of wallets now that have made the peak really good, in my opinion. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, what else do we have? Today, I just, or yesterday, maybe I, maybe I uploaded today, but I just got the Into wallet. So this is, this is filled, this is not. Uh, we'll get rid of this one. But this one, it has a really good peak. The external peak is right here. It functions a lot like the Shadow Wallet, which is probably still my favorite peak. We'll get into that one a bit more later. But with this wallet, you can get your external peak. You can also open it up to uh, peak a folded billet, which is not common in a lot of peak wallets. So there's three different peaks with this wallet. Uh, I've done a full review on this. And just while I'm on, on it now, I had somebody ask me to do a size comparison between the Stealth Assassin, the Shadow, and the Into wallet. So I have the Stealth Assassin here. The Into is a bit longer as far as... Um, thickness goes relatively the same so that's kind of the comparison with that one and then the shadow wallet I don't have mine packed but it is thinner than this one it's always going to be thinner because it doesn't have as much storage or as much pockets uh, quite a bit shorter but there's there's your comparison even if this was filled the thickness would be a lot less with the shadow so that's the into wallet <clears throat> And then we have the, uh, the uh, Secret Tannery. This is the Peak Wallet. It's a Jack style wallet. It's really good. A lot of people, uh, they, their go-to is the Jack's wallet. It can be peaked in two different ways. So you can get your peak when you're putting the wallet away. Uh, very deceptive. Or you can get the peak as you're closing the wallet. So in either case, you don't have to go back to the wallet, which is nice. You can if, if you want to. but And then also the, uh, the Peak Note, which is somewhat similar, but you get, can carry your, your bills in that. And the Peak on this is different. You get it when you're closing the wallet. Uh, probably one of the most deceptive Peaks out there. I know a lot of people that swear by this wallet. Um, over every other wallet and it is their EDC and then we have the Stealth Assassin wallet which again is is very very highly respected and talked about in the magic community it seems like every mentalist has one and there's good reason for it you have a number of peaks you have uh, a really good internal peak and then you also have an SUC so you have your external peak Plus, you have your index out to lunch. Uh, quite a bit of storage. So that's the saw. Um, <clears throat> next, we will get into... I got so many shadow wallets. It's ridiculous. Uh, I have one here. I have a different one in a different color. I have this one, which is still brand new, unused. And then I have this one, which is the one that I carried on me for a number of years. This was my EDC for a number of years. I love the peak on it. Absolutely love it. Still my favorite peak out of any peak wallet I've had. I think that the uh, motivation for getting the peak is, is amazing. This can be set in your participants' hands to where they can see everything and they will not see how you peaked the information. So the Shadow Wallet, overall that's my favorite uh, peak wallet that's not what I'm using at the moment 
Uh, at the moment, I am using the Orphic. No, here's the Orphic Plus. I was using that one when I was doing a bit more card magic. Now I'm using the Orphic, uh, the regular Orphic. So it's uh, it's a good wallet. You got some a uh, couple storage pockets. You have your peak area, and this has been claimed to be the most psychologically deceptive and impossible looking peak. For a number of reasons and the tutorial in this is really good you get uh, Lewis explaining five different ways of peeking I also carry a little pen in this which doesn't hinder the uh, closing of the wallet it opens and closes really easy so um, I, I do like the Orphic wallet next I have two bigger wallets I like them both and I, and I have used them both as, as an EDC so when I was carrying the Shadow Wallet, I didn't have a lot of, uh, it doesn't carry a lot of cards, right? You can pack it more full. You could, you can actually place two to three cards in each of these slots if you want to carry a ton, but then you're turning a minimalist wallet into a bulky wallet, and that kind of defeats the purpose of it being a minimalist wallet. So what I did was I carried this in my front pocket, and I carried one of these in my vehicle or in my bag uh, if I needed my extra cards. So both of these wallets are, are pretty similar. They both have SUC functions. Um, this one's a bit of a different, the Cassidy wallet is a bit of a different SUC. I, I don't prefer this SUC over the regular SUC. Um, <clears throat> tons and tons of storage. With the Annihilation Wallet by Paul Carnazzo, you have a really unique peak that you get by placing uh, your participants' written information in the business card section. So it has all the reason. It, it makes sense to put that back where you got it from in the business card section. And then you can just set the wallet down and get your peak. So that's really nice. You have a ton of storage in here. Uh, and it's just a really good everyday carry wallet with good peaks and then finally the Cassidy wallet uh, there are some I think better peaks with this one you have a peak that's very similar to the stealth assassin so I'll just open it up I won't give anything away here but you have a ton of storage you have this flap here which serves as a peak I won't say where and then uh, you have your billfold, one is with a, uh, a playing card index, the other you have just a regular billfold, um, but then you also have a billet index in here as well, and you have your another internal peak in the billfold, which is, there's, there's some good motivation for that if it's your style, it's not mine, I would use the stealth assassin type peak if I'm using this for my peak wallet. I just go back to the Annihilation wallet too. Like, not that this has anything to do with the peak, but you can also perform card to wallet because of the SUC feature. It has a, a playing card index as well as a billet index as well. Tons of storage and then a zippered compartment. So, I don't know. That's kind of my introduction on, on the wallets that you're likely going to see in the peak section of the wallet wars i know that this video kind of it didn't give a lot of information but i like to kind of have an introduction with each section showing uh, kind of giving you an idea of what to expect so there will likely be comparison videos between these two because they're very similar uh you know saw versus orphic plus any any wallets that are kind of similar, like even the the Into wallet versus the sh the Shadow wallet, because believe it or not, even though they don't look too similar, like they do in some aspects, especially the back, right? Just the Shadow wallet is smaller, and the front has the, you know. So there's gonna be some uh, some comparison videos coming, and then there's also going to be my favorites and and my bests which again is it can differ differ from your best but the idea isn't to show you how many wallets i have and and what they all do but it's to kind of give you more information so that you can decide 
what is going to be most comfortable for you to use because at the end of the day i think that's what makes or break a, a makes or breaks a peak wallet for for many people is just maybe the guilt or or feeling like uh, the motivation isn't there if they have to go back to the wallet. So that's just what I'm going to try to cover uh, with that. I hope, uh, you know, you got something out of this video. If if the least you got out of the, this video was a little bit of entertainment, then then that's great. And so with that, we'll see you at the next video.